A warm welcome. Blue is the colour. Football is the game, as the old song used to go. We're here at Stamford Bridge tonight in West London. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you commentary. And joining me is the former Arsenal defender, Lee Dixon. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It is Chelsea facing Barcelona. Well, Derek, I hope you are as excited as me the start of the Champions League. Always a special atmosphere. Both teams will be hoping for a long journey. Or it may be very, very short. We're about to find out. Kepa is given the green light in goal. Marcos Alonso plays with Aspili Quetta in central defence. Mateo Kovacic starts with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And Olivier Giroud is given the buzz of confidence in attack. Well, in Catalan, they say, mesh que un club, more than a club. And this has always been more than just any old competition for Barcelona, Lee. Well, it's almost their own. They just love playing in this competition. We always get good games when Barcelona turn up. And I don't think we're in for anything other than that in the group stages. They'll be concentrated because they're professionals. And that'll probably get them through to the knockout stages. And then we know what happens from there. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Marc-Andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Pique starts alongside Clément Langlais in the centre of defence. And the defenders had better be on their toes because leading the line is Luis Suarez. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. Mateo Kovacic. Conte. Jorginho. This is Aspili Quetta. Messi. A very disappointing effort. Well, he's in a great spot as well. It's all about the decision making, and he makes the wrong one. Well, in every football generation, there's a player who stands above the immortals, and Lionel Messi falls in that category. Well, basically, you've got to keep him out of the box because he's got such a brilliant finishing ability that you give him half a yard, he will score. So keep him as far away from your goal as possible. Really a very poor ball. And Messi carries it forward. And he's made headway. And the finishing touch applied for Barcelona. Genius. It really is genius. What a finish. Well, it's a lovely goal. The pass was sublime, but then the finish. Not easy sometimes when you have so much time to think about it. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. So the game has restarted, and it's Barcelona in front. Number nine, Luis Suarez. On the ball, Rudiger. Kovacic lost it. Far from the best effort you'll see in this match. Well, let's hope he gets another chance because he wasted that one. Rudiger has it. They've got it now. What can they do? Well, an effort he would like to airbrush from history. Well, he should be doing better than that. He had options around him, too. He chose the wrong one. Here is Zuma. Aspili Quetta. It's with William. Tremendous intuition to win it back. But well, I think it's fair to say, Lee, when you talk about teams that could win the UEFA Champions League, Chelsea had great opportunity. 
You never really know, Lee, if it's going to come off when you hit it on the volley in that fashion. Yeah, hero to zero. When he struck that, you think, wow, and then all of a sudden you realise where it's gone. Well, the manager can't hide his disappointment in not extending the lead there. He's still on a knife edge. Rudiger. Sergio Busquets. Mateo Kovacic. Not a good pass. Suarez. Messi in the vicinity. Well, that was anything but a textbook head early. Well, to be fair to him, it's not the easiest of chances. He's just caught you off the top of his head, really. Mateo Kovacic. Marcos Alonso. Mount. It's with Marcos Alonso. Well, that is how to run at defenders. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw in. A really sumptuous ball. You know what? He's going to be annoyed with himself given the position he was in, Lee. Well, yeah, they worked it really well, didn't they? He's got in a position to score and not really took advantage of that. Conte. It's with William. They've regained possession. Barca really haven't seen too much of the ball. Interesting idea from Suarez. And it's in! A goal for Barcelona! They are the team in charge. Well, you could be critical of the defending, but let's focus on the great play. Capped off with a superb, calm, calculated finish. A chance to revisit the goal. Well, a second goal for them here. FC Barcelona goal, number 10, Lino Messi. Conte, Mateo Kovacic. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Marcos Alonso. Firing it in. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. It might be perfectly set up for the counter-attack, you know. And keepers in trouble. Well, they are on the wrong end of the scoreline. But, Lee, your overall thoughts on their current situation? Well, I have to give Chelsea 6 out of 10 so far. They've been the nearly team. It's close, a bit more aggressive in midfield and get the ball into wide area. Griezmann! Well, the post getting in the way there. Free kick to Chelsea. Chelsea. Suarez, Griezmann, Griezmann, he's given us away, tremendous block, Jorginho, Mateo Kovacic, the referee's verdict is three additional minutes, straight down the throat of the opposition. Important interception. And 
so the first half draws to a close here in West London. Well, he's been a long way from his best up front, Lee. Well, he needs something to change. His impact on the game has been negligible. His team down, need him to spot. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. He's got space. in the center went in strongly decisively and after that fantastic effort it's gone out for a throw in Chelsea certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession but they have to create more they have to be more positive the final third play has been slow too predictable. Jorginho. Mateo Kovacic. Tremendous intuition to win it back. I must say, no shortage of space. And a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort. He smashed it. Here's Kovacic. Mount. Marcos Alonso. Making progress. And that is how to thwart them. Excellent vision, and it might be. Lionel Messi is positioned at the back post. It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. Now, sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Mount. Wonderful challenge. And a throw-in coming up. Jorginho. Mateo Kovacic. Well, pass after pass. Maybe they can chisel an opportunity. Given away. So it's going to be a goal kick here. Well, we're highlighting Lionel Messi for a reason. He's asking plenty of questions of the defenders out there, Lee. Yeah, I bet the keeper is sick of the sight of him. He's been peppering that goal from all sorts of angles, as you can see. Good goals to boot as well. Yes, man. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. And he takes on the shots. No hiding from the fact that that was a very poor effort. Oh, look away right now. Look at that. Absolutely awful effort. Jorginho. And very deftly cut out. So, 20 minutes to go. It's with Giroud. Legal play, and hence a free kick. And the referee has determined that that is a bookable offence. I don't think you can think anything else after that challenge. The outcome is a goal kick here. A 
it's an excellent looking attack courtesy of Griezmann here well it's goal after goal after goal just no end to this a brilliant display Well, we'll see this again, and it's inches from going wide. It doesn't hit, suppose it goes in. Keeper is distraught. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. second half and it has got a bit ugly from the scoreline point of view what positives can you find Lee I suggest those Chelsea players get some earplugs when they go in that dressing room the coach is going to go ballistic lack of intensity no hunger no passion shocking at the back too not very good at all he's given us away Jorginho Pedro in full control of the ball here a move of promise on the flank Olivier Giroud at the ready Suarez Griezmann Barca making progress what can they do from this position Conte now on the ball, Aspili Quetta. Here is William. Conte. Conte. And now William coming into it. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Jorginho. And having already received a yellow card, he's walking a very fine line. And it's a second yellow card. The referee has dismissed it. Well, he's on a booking. What's he doing making a challenge like that? Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. And it's with Pedro. BK, great block there. Corner kick played over. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And it will be a caution for Antonio Rudiger. Well, he just got himself out of position and tried to play catch up and got it all wrong. This is Vidal. Far from a good pass. Well, that's all for this game, and Barcelona off to a flying start. Three points from their initial match in the... Really a very poor ball. And Messi carries it.